Hey guys, it's Julie with yogineology.com. I've had a lot of people ask for how to do a handstand videos. So handstands are really fun, you feel like you're flying, you feel like you're a little kid again, um, but they can be scary at first. So I always recommend practice with the wall, start it against a wall, and that'll just give you some of the confidence that you need that you're not gonna go tumbling out of it. Although if you do, and when you do, when you decide to move away from the wall, it really isn't as scary as you think it would be. It's like doing a cartwheel kind of, or just kind of falling out of it. Um, it's fun, actually. So we're gonna though work today with a wall. So biggest things you wanna remember before you get up into handstand is that when we're coming into it and your hands are out, the biggest mistake people make with handstand is that they allow the shoulders to drop. So we don't want, when you invert, the shoulders to come back out of the socket. You just don't have as much strength there. You really wanna make sure that you're pushing the ground away and that the arms are firming towards each other so that you're not losing that stability that you need. So with a wall, with your mat, you're gonna start in downward facing dog, which is the best way to do this pose to the prep for. So set up your hands, you wanna be, you know, not super close to the wall, but not too far away, maybe about a foot or so. You're gonna set the hands up for down dog and just feel out your down dog. And make sure you're warm. It's, there's nothing worse than trying something that's a little difficult when your body is not ready for it. So make sure you've done a few sun salutations or just got back from a run or whatever it is. So we're gonna start here. Press down into the mat just like you normally would a lot with your fingers. Make sure the arms feel really strong. Then begin to walk the feet in just a bit. We don't want the arms all the way over the shoulders just yet. We want to though start to feel like, okay, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna start to bring the shoulders over the wrists. So to begin, just step one foot forward, knee's gonna bend, and you're just gonna practice lifting coming up. So left leg lifts, come up. Switch sides. And you can kind of tell in this which leg will feel more comfortable to kick with. So just like when you're snowboarding and you have one foot out in front, whichever one feels better, you kind of get that feeling here. So you're gonna step up with whatever foot you want to start to be your kickoff and then your other foot's gonna lift. You're gonna get up nice and close, like we said, about a foot from the wall. You're gonna kick up and just hang for a second. And up, hang, down. And just practice that a few times. That might be where you stay so far. Up, down, and maybe you try with the other leg. See how that feels. So we're getting a little more involved. Good. Eventually, all that's left is to kick a little harder and let your feet hit the wall, right? So you get the feet, whichever one you want. Look forward, don't allow your gaze to come back. Kick up and eventually feet will touch. Once you're up here, you want to make sure that the legs are strong and that your upper inner thighs are rolling towards the wall. Flex the feet, take a couple breaths and when you're ready, come down one leg at a time. So if that felt like that's too much, maybe you didn't get the feet up to the wall yet, there's another thing we can do to practice. So you can start in our half handstand. You're gonna measure where your feet are. Well, measure from here. So feet on the wall, hands right by your sides. And this is where your hands are gonna go. You're gonna flip around. Bring the hands down. This is also a nice way to build strength. You're just gonna start to walk the feet up the wall. Now we don't wanna get the feet up like this. That's not helping us. We wanna get into a position where our shoulders are coming over our wrists. And you're just gonna work here. So you're getting used to having your weight on your hands. And it's not quite as scary as kicking up. So you can work there. That's actually a lot harder than handstand, not fear-wise, but strength-wise. It's actually a lot harder. So it's a nice way to build the strength that you need and kind of build your confidence. One more thing, when you do get up into handstand, there's some cool ways to get down, and one that you can try is bringing both your feet down at the same time. So setting up for down dog, one foot forward, 
couple practice kicks, okay? Come on up. Yep. One more try. Come on up. Yep. From here, same thing. Press the hands down. Lift up through the shoulders. Spiral the inner thighs towards the wall. Flex the feet. And see if you can bring the feet down at the same time. So that's handstand. Take some time once you get it. It's really fun. You'll be able to throw them in the middle of a room in no time. So let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Hopefully that helped. Have an awesome day, yoginis.